Hello, I'm Dr. Maher Abbas, a practicing colon rectal surgeon in Dubai, the United Arab Emirates. I'm a fellow of the American Society of Colon Rectal Surgeon and diplomat of the American Board of Colon Rectal Surgery. Today we will be speaking about rubber band ligation as a procedure. We're going to cover several items. The first one is who's a good candidate for rubber band ligation and then we will discuss what is rubber band ligation and how it's done and how you take care of yourself before and after a rubber band ligation. Hemorrhoids, there are two types, internal and external. And when we look at internal hemorrhoid, there are four grades, grade one, grade two, grade three, grade four. Grade one internal hemorrhoid give patients symptoms but are not apparent to the outside. Grade two are usually prolapsing to the outside Grade three internal hemorrhoids usually prolapse to the outside and the patient has to push them back inside. And grade four are internal hemorrhoids that are always outside the patient's skin. Rubber band ligation is a very good procedure for patients who have grade two and grade three internal hemorrhoid, meaning the hemorrhoids are inflamed and protruding to the outside. Either they spontaneously go back in, such as in grade two, or the patient has to push them back in, which is grade three. So that would be the ideal candidate for rubber band ligation procedure. Now, what is rubber band ligation? Rubber band ligation, if you look here at this drawing, hemorrhoid is a vein, it's a vessel that protrudes and swells up and it can get very big and go all the way to the outside. And what we typically do in a rubber band ligation procedure is we put a rubber band at the apex, at top of the aspect of the hemorrhoid to kind of shrink the hemorrhoid and make it smaller and make it scar into the uh, anorectal area such as here. So we start with a swollen vein that's protruding to the outside and we put a rubber band around its neck and by doing so we choke or we constrict the uh, vein to where it becomes like a scar in the area of the anorectum. That process usually can take several weeks. The longer a rubber band stays, the more effective it is. And I have here a few small rubber bands in my palm of my hand, just to show you how small they are. Typically, when we put them uh, on the hemorrhoid, they can last anywhere from a few hours up to two or three weeks. The longer a rubber band stays, the more effective it is in it's doing its job. Often the rubber band will pass out of the patient in the stool and the patient may not notice the rubber band passage. Occasionally the patient may notice a little bit of bleeding. Now, how is the procedure done and how does the patient prepare for it? The procedure is done in the clinic and usually the patient does an enema, a rectal enema at home to clean the area of the rectum. And I usually advise patient to take one gram of paracetamol or Panadol before they come in uh, to the office. We usually do the procedure with the patient awake where we make an assessment of the different areas of the hemorrhoid to see which one is most inflamed and we ask the patient which is the hemorrhoid that typically bother them the most because rubber band ligation is a targeted approach only to treat the internal hemorrhoid that is giving the patient the symptom. We don't treat all the hemorrhoid, we treat only the area that is giving the patient the symptom. Some patients may require more than one session because they may have more than one area that bothers them. So once we determine which area we're going to rubber band, we typically would grab the hemorrhoid. We ask the patient for the sensation. If it's painful, we don't deploy the rubber band. The typical sensation should be a sensation of pressure in the area where we grab the hemorrhoid, and then we deploy it. The procedure is very quick, usually takes five minutes or less. The patient rests a little bit in the clinic and goes home. I usually advise the patient for two to three days to sit in a warm tub to relax the area and to take paracetamol one gram up to three times a day for any discomfort they have. The majority of the patient do very well, but I tell all the patient to watch for fever, bleeding or blood clot that don't stop or any difficulty with urination. Should any of these rare events occur, you need to notify your doctor because they could be a sign of early infection. And that is basically the procedure rubber band ligation, which is a very good procedure 
for a select group of patients who can benefit tremendously either in one or more session of rubber band ligation.